Yes, hi everyone, and welcome to Oscar Outdoors. Jamie and this one's to go through the East Hills Outdoors Jungle Explorer Hammock. Right, so welcome back everyone. So as in the little intro today, we're going through this. This is the complete setup from uh, East Hills, uh, available on Amazon. I think I paid around about £69 uh, or £70 for it. Now that's just because I'm always sort of doing research and looking at different hammocks and sort of trying to make my own way. Obviously you've seen my DIY hammock, um, which I've been working on and obviously I'm just getting ideas from different places because eventually that's what I want to be doing. So yeah, uh, the East Hills Outdoors. So first of all it comes with this great big dry bag and then both components fit in there. So it's a hammock and a tarp set up, but it's got a quite a sizable rain fly. Uh, and then the tarp, sorry it is the rain fly. Um, I'm not quite sure on the dimensions of that, I'll have to look it up for you in a, in a second. Hopefully it's going to fit on the DIY hammock stand that I've got in the garden. Okay, and then the hammock as well. Now the hammock looks quite big. Uh, again, hopefully it's going to set up on this quite easily. So let's uh, do it now. Right, well, as you can see, it fits perfectly just on these first loops of the hammock stand that I've made. Now, obviously, I've not put the hammock straps in that came with there, but these do look really quite good. So, uh, triple stitched throughout there, and it's given you a £750 per strap uh, sort of weight limit, uh, 10 foot long. Uh, so, they're going to be probably ample for any sort of other hammock setups that you're going to be wanting. But yeah, as you can see there, it's got a, a nice lovely sort of banana shape to it at the moment which is what you want so you can get that diagonal there. Um, and now we're just going to attach the bungee cord and get the bug nail. Right, so what we've got is just uh, some sort of bungee cord and then what, all you've got here is just tabs to sort of feed through. So you've got six of these tabs to go through uh, before you go around your trees and things like that. So let's uh, do that now. Okay, so it took about four or five minutes and it's actually two separate individual uh, bungee cords as well. So these are the loops that they go through, so just sort of nylon webbing, uh, sort of really nice and easy to put up. Uh, so in the old tips video you'll have seen that I've done tips on these using arrow nooks to sort of keep this spread of bar apart, but obviously we've not got that included with this, so I'm not going to show you, it's just exactly what we've got in the tin with this one. Uh, but yeah, it looks really good, the bug nets quite fine as you can see not sure on the uh, cut of it or the holes per inch but yeah it looks really really good the carabiners uh, look similar to the 12 kilonewton ones that I picked up from Aliexpress so probably uh, 12 kilonewton roughly is the weight limit on them tied off with a simple sort of overhand sort of cow hitch or lark's head knot and then uh, uh, probably a couple of half hitches on there as well We've got probably another three or four foot of the bungee cord which would be ideal for when you're out and about um, with a, a proper tree rather than a stand in your garden like this one. Uh, but I've just gone round and just tied a simple uh, double half hitch or two, round turn and two half hitches on this end. And then just a, a simple fisherman's knot on this end just so that we've got that little bit of adjustment there. But yeah, really, really sort of springy and boingy there so good. Right, let's uh, try getting in the hammock. So when you're going to get in, you see there's two separate zips. So you've got a, a black zip going off to your left and then a white zip going off to your right. Oh. 
<coughs> so I've just tightened it up uh, in anticipation of getting into it because uh, on the setting that I had it, it was a little bit too low. Side, you've got four of these um, where the sort of ridge line attaches so you've got four little swivel hooks so you've got two on that end and then two on this end oh they're just perfect for hanging little bits of gear up okay what I've also noticed on this end is you've got a little pocket there sort of labeled phone pocket if I can uh, unscrew it yeah phone holder Yeah, I quite like that. Yeah, it's not set up in ideal conditions, but I am getting uh, quite a comfortable diagonal lay in this, so I am kind of liking it. Uh, the ridge line, uh, sorry, the, um, the bug net suspension could probably do with some spreader bars or something, some, similar to the hammock tips that I've done. Uh, I'll flash that video up in the corner for you now. But yeah, the, the zip as well, because it's quite a long hammock. Uh, you've got two zips on either side it's too far away so again using some of the tips that i've shown you in previous videos you can probably make your life a lot easier with them uh, but yeah it is quite comfortable it is quite spacious so uh, let's set the tarp up okay so just a quick look at the tap before we uh, set it up properly it's got some quite strong nylon straps for your tie out points double stitched at the seams and obviously an extra layer of material there it's light grey in colour with some dark grey uh, beading or edging whatever you want to call it um, and then uh, a little peg bag included get rid of that a second in the peg bag you get Obviously, you'll get some pegs and some tie-out points. Uh, quite cheap pegs, ten a penny, and just some nylon tie-out cords. So I've got the benefit of having these permanently attached to a, a ridge line that I've created on this hammock stand, and the distance between the two posts is four and a half meters. So the tarp probably around about four meters. But yeah, that's. Uh, set up in standard airframe from the central tie out point on there and then obviously the central one on the opposite side all right so i'm just going to show you how i attach uh, my guy lines when i'm out doing things like this so just pass a loop through the tie out point and then bring both tails through creating a lark's head or a cow's hitch whichever you prefer to call it got many different names uh, so yeah then you just pull that down tight and then on this end i just want to do uh, half a double fisherman's knot so go across bend round come more across again back up the center of both crossover points Not the best cord for uh, tying knots in yeah voila and then what you've got there is just a little bit of adjustment so when you've got a tie-out point, if you come back up, you've got somewhere to clip things in there as well. Right, so as you can see, I'm under the tarp as well now. Uh, very, very simple to set up. Uh, but all I've done is I've just sort of tied out um, on a door handle on my shed and on my summer house and garden. Uh, I've only done the two tie-out points, the rest I've left for now. Uh, but what do I think about this? So is it a set that I go out and buy for myself now? No. Uh, it's not. I would buy it as a starter set uh, for seventy pounds. You know, you get the hammock and the tarp, and it's a good quality hammock as well. It's like parachute nylon, the double zip. You could probably fit uh, an adult and a child in here, or two children. Uh, you know, if you've got a couple of kids camping and you just want to take the one set up for them, it would be ideal. Um, and for seventy pounds, ideal for that. Um, but for someone who's a bit more experienced, probably not. Uh, the best hammock uh, There are a lot of good points, but there are a lot of downfalls with it as well. Uh, the bug net I think is too big uh, 
could probably do with uh, taking out a little bit of material from that uh, maybe adding in some spreader bars again all the hammock tips that I've done uh, would make this setup a lot better so the the zipper pulls uh, the paracord on there the spreader bars uh, I like the little lantern features inside there I like the fact that it's got a, actually a phone pocket on both sides as well so if you are top and tailing a couple of kids it would be ideal uh, the double zips on both sides um, as well so white on one and black on the other and it goes all the way around on both sides uh, it comes with the good dry bag um, coming very useful for the entire setup um, but yeah it's, it's a, a decent setup but not the best um, again for starting out absolutely perfect it's just for a couple of kids or to throw in a backpack while you're out on a hike and stuff like that and it's just sort of there for a, a lounge around ideal uh, for a full camping setup not the best you know there are better brands out there there are better setups out there that will uh, a little bit more expensive but probably worth the money uh, worth the difference uh, for the difference in quality uh, but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this review uh, I hope it's helped you out and helped you make a decision on it uh, there will be a, a link in the description box below to go and purchase one of these um, but other than that give the video a thumbs up comment let me know what you thought and if you're not already subscribe to the channel by pressing this and I'll leave some hammock tips videos over here for you and some that will flash up on there for you right I'll see you in the next one